Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Claudia. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. I appreciate you and I hope you stay and enjoy my content. For those visiting, thank you for visiting and thank you even more for channel keeping. Hit that subscribe button, swing at that notification bell and take care of what you need to take care of so we can stay together. Al Green, let's stay together, loving you whoever, I think that's Tina, no, whether in times of good or bad, happy or sad, why, why have you not subscribed, let's get this video started, one more, there's one more thing I have to tell you guys, it is not good to spend so much time pondering somebody else's faux pas. I'm just looking at all the beauty gurus talk about Chocolate Hill and her flawed, needing to be recalled, expired, hairy mess lipsticks. All new, all 20 something odd nude number of them. And I'm thinking, oh, Jay Hill, what happened? What, all that glitters is not silver? What is going on? And then I look at more videos and then I tell myself, no more J.H. videos. Then I get ready for my video. I have this lipstick, which I have had for a while. It's a gorgeous matte lipstick. It is Flamingo Luster. I guess I had this lipstick so long it started looking like Jaclyn Hill's lipstick. I looked at it and I said, this would be great for the look I'm going to create in today's video. Then I noticed the hairs and almost the mold. This is old. I said, Claudia, how many years have you had this baby? Have you had it a decade? I thought, how long has Flamingo been out? Flamingo leaned over like the Eiffel Tower, laid out and coughed. <coughs> and I looked around like, Jay Hill, Jay Hill, Jay Hill, are you with me? And I'll throw it away. I do need to clean out my lipstick. All I know, all of them could be like that. But I love Mac. But it, I've had it too long. Now, I'm ready to move on and get ready with this makeup look. I just had to get that out of my wig, you know? So the first thing I'm going to do for this look is use my Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Every time I say that, I almost go to sleep. I, I'm like, am I a narcoleptic? No, I love you, Riri, but girl, the next one, make that shorter. Nonetheless, I love it. So I'm, go, I'm going to use this primer because, boys and girls, I love this primer. I've been trying to up my skincare game. I'm like, no, La Mirier or not today or whatever that expensive line is, La Mer. Lamar, the C, La Mara, no sé. No sé la palabra para la maquillaje with that skincare line. Uh, but one day, I will be sitting here putting that on and showing you guys how it works on my skin. I gotta have a talk with Delta. They have got to stop flying over this neighborhood at this time. I, I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty Foundation. If I say the name again, I will be asleep. So I am going to go with Shaking It Well. And the number is 410. I'm going to try this one out too in another video. This is uh, 370. So I can see how that looks on my skin. I 
love this foundation. I have used this foundation in several looks. Uh, I haven't recorded them. I didn't film them, but I, I really like this foundation. I probably should have done this before I put down my foundation, but it's okay. I will conceal now. And this I'm using um, Warm Honey by RK, by Kiss. Concealer and uh, contour and correct color correcting all in three. I am going to be dropping quite a few things. This does it. Contour. That's dark enough. use this uh, ridged foundation brush from Sephora. I am going to use this Makeup Forever Professional Paris High Definition Pressed Powder. do is use my Beignet Luxury Banana Powder to catch the makeup from the eyeshadow palette around my eyes. But before I do that, I'm going to use uh, MAC's Skin Finish in Natural, their mineralizing powder. My eyebrows look like naked chickens. Mm. What I'm going to do is put a bit of my powder here and catch a little bit here for my for the fallout. <coughs> do not trust your eyes. My hands are always soft and silky and never crap clawish. In today's video, I am playing with hard candy. Cute little affordable eyeshadow palette. Ooh, don't you like that mirror in any palette? But this is what it looks like. Some of you might not know about hard candy because you might not go to the hard candy section in the store. Comes with four professional brushes. There are two, but there are brushes on each end. So these are the little brushes. They claim these are professional. I'm going to be using these. Hard Candy is an American cosmetics company founded in 1995 by Iranian American sisters and Benjamin Einstein. The sisters are Aunt Dina Mohajer and Puna Mohajer. Mm. And this palette is the rose gold eyeshadow palette. 
it retails at Walmart for $10. It is the Look Pro top seller on their website. It is supposed to feature ultra smooth mattes and shimmering shades, excellent dupes, according to the website from the reviews, excellent dupes for the Huda Rose Gold Palette and the Modern Renaissance. If you're balling on a budget, ball out with the Pro Look Best Seller Hard Candy Rose Gold Makeup. Uh, this brown one, I'm going to put down as my transition. This one. So, that brown one is Sweet Nothing. So let's do the Sweet Nothing. Hmm. Picks up well. I don't know if it's going to be a lot of fallout. Looks like it might be. It's powdery. I'm going for a peachy look. So I am going to use this on my lid and the color beside it. I'll put that on the lid as well. That is really pretty. I will use Sweet Nothing. Sweetheart and Love Affair. It's powdery now. I can see it going up, but a lot of it is sticking to my lids. I don't know if that's because I put enough foundation and um, powder to kill a small gnat. And I know you said, are you sitting on that mirror? Yes, I am. So you just behave down there. You know, a girl has to see what a girl has to see. Use the same brush and going in here. Mm -hmm. And mm. I need to pick up some more. There we go. Does it look like it didn't want to put down? Now it's coming up a little bit better. brush seems to, it's not losing hair, seems to work nicely. I like these little brushes. I am going to wet this side of the brush, so like a little paddle situation. Don't you like that? Don't you? Be true. Be honest. Then on will go <clears throat> the shimmer. Mm -hmm. Pick up some more. We don't want to pick up too much. Mm -hmm. Or it gets cakey if you wet it too, too much. Mm-hmm. It goes on much better dry. It's crumbling now. But it's very pretty. Hmm. I'm going to have to spray. Close your eyes. There is fallout. It's like fallout on the uh, nuclear level. It's all across my makeup, but that's okay. I, can, I have a brush. I know what to do with fallout. Lip 
pencil that I'll be using is the NK Lip Pencil in Coral. This is Iman's lipstick palette, lip gloss palette. This is, this is how the look came together using the Hard Candy Pro Look Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette, the Fenty Foundation. It, uh, I think it came out very well and for me to have come up with so many shimmers, for me to have put too much water on my brush and created too many sparkles and shimmers across my lap and my cheeks, I think this is pretty good. So when I use this palette again, I will be sure not to wet my brush too much and create that crumbly effect with the shimmering looks in this palette. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Subscribe, share, comment, and like if you like this content. Stick around, get comfortable, watch a few more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Wishing you love and light. Bye.